This video will cover the topic using a trigonometric ratio to find an angle measure in a right triangle. Let's take a look at an example problem to get an idea of what this topic covers. We are given a right triangle like the one shown below and asked to find x and round our answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. How can we do this? Well, as the topic name suggests, we are going to use a trigonometric ratio to help us find this angle measure. What is a trigonometric ratio? Trigonometric ratios relate the sides of right triangles to their angles. We need to remember the following three trigonometric ratios to be able to solve these problems. The sine of angle x equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of angle x equals the length of the adjacent side over the length of hypotenuse. The tangent of angle x equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. An easy way to remember these ratios is SOCA-TOA. This acronym can help us remember sine of x equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine of x equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent of x equals opposite over adjacent. We will use these ratios to help us find the angle measure. More accurately, we will use the inverse of sine, cosine, and tangent to find the angle measure. These can also be written as arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. How can we set up this problem? We will put x on one side of the equal sign, and since we are given the opposite length and the hypotenuse, we will write the inverse sign on the other side, like so. This equation reads, x equals the inverse sine of opposite over hypotenuse. From here, we can fill in the problem with our known values. We know the opposite side length is 5 and the hypotenuse is 8, so we will write x equals the inverse sine of 5 over 8. We will solve by inputting the inverse sine of 5 eighths into our calculators. This results in 38.682 degrees when rounded, 38.7 degrees. This is our final answer. Okay, I think I understand. When solving problems of this type, first we identify which parts of the triangle we have been given. Next, we set up an equation to solve for the angle using a trigonometric ratio. Finally, we input our known values and solve for the angle. That is correct. Great work! 